good evening to all in this video we will discuss about the vibration of the carbon dioxide gas molecule okay in carbon dioxide gas molecule is a linear molecule one carbon atom is attached with addition okay so carbon atom is placed at the center point two addition atom is attached in the both side left hand side and the right hand side both side carbon atom has two addition atom okay so in this case the axis of the carbon dioxide gas molecule this is called as axis of the molecule okay this is the axis of molecule axis of co2 or carbon dioxide gas molecule the carbon dioxide gas molecule exhibits three different kind of vibration okay first one is called symmetry mode three kind of vibration modes are present co2 as three types of vibration mode as three types of vibration mode first one is called symmetry vibration or symmetry stretching vibration so this is generally symmetry stretching vibration symmetry stretching mode second one is called asymmetry yes symmetry yes symmetry stretching mode last one is called bending mode okay last one is called bending mode bending vibration mode or bending mode in this diagram the carbon dioxide molecule as the axis of the co2 molecule is passing in the particular direction it is the along the x axis so carbon to addition atom these three molecule three atoms are lies in the axis so this is called it here linear molecule okay carbon dioxide is called it here linear triatomic molecule okay so in the case of the symmetry stretching mode and asymmetry stretching mode both are the carbon addition these all molecules vibrate along the axis of molecule okay so the carbon and two addition atom is vibrate along the axis of the molecule it is moving in the front and back or left and right okay so this is called at now symmetry and asymmetry mode is vibration present in the axis of the molecule in the case of the bending mode the vibration is perpendicular to the axis of the molecule this is the axis of the molecule means the molecule is the carbon and the addition vibrate perpendicular to the axis of the molecule this is the axis of the molecule so molecule is vibrate in the perpendicular direction upward side or downward side is vibration is occurs okay we will discuss at now one by one first we take at now the symmetry stretching mode first case we take it here symmetry stretching mode so in the case of the symmetry stretching mode the both axis and molecule is moving in opposite direction okay first one is right at here symmetry mode symmetry stretching mode symmetry stretching mode in the case of the symmetry stretching mode both addition atom vibrate opposite direction so this is the carbon molecule one addition molecule present at here one more addition molecule is present at here both are connected with the carbon atom okay both addition atom moving towards the carbon molecule okay 
to adjacent atom moving towards the carbon molecule so we get the result the carbon atom is approach close to the addition atom so the distance is reduced in this type of the movement after close the both addition atom to the carbon atom these two carbon addition atom move away from the carbon so this is the opposite movement so in this case it is moving in the opposite direction okay it is moving the positive x axis it is moving in the negative x axis we get in the result is these three atom is close to each other suppose both adjacent atom is moving away from the carbon so this is the carbon atom the adjacent atom moving approach the first case suppose it is away from the carbon atom so away from the carbon atom means we get the result both adjacent atom is away from the carbon molecule okay so it is move approach to the carbon or away from the carbon so this kind of vibration is called at here stretching vibration symmetry stretching vibration in the case of the symmetry stretching vibration both adjacent atom is vibrate in opposite direction it is moving plus x axis means it is moving the minus x axis suppose it is moving the minus x axis means it is moving the plus x axis so this is the opposite direction but both has the same magnitude of vibrations both magnitude of velocity so both are approach to the carbon atom in the same time and also it is leave from the carbon atom in the same time so this kind of vibration is called at here symmetry stretching mode in the case of the symmetry stretching mode is absorbed in the carbon dioxide gas molecule in the wave number wave number of the symmetry stretching mode is write it here this is write it now new bar this is the symmetry mode this value is equal to 1480 cm power minus 1 it is the nearest value it is around 1480 cm is absorbed the carbon dioxide symmetry stretching mode so the corresponding energy for the symmetry stretching mode this value is around 0.185 electron volt okay this is the energy of the symmetry stretching mode in the carbon dioxide gas molecule okay next one we will discuss at now asymmetry stretching mode the asymmetry stretching mode in the case of the asymmetric stretching mode the carbon molecule is <coughs> present at the middle portion and the both adjacent atom is moving in the same direction suppose the left hand side molecule is moving along the plus x axis means this adjacent atom is also moving in the same direction okay so both both adjacent molecule is moving in the same direction so the result of the vibration we get at here one of the adjacent atom is close to the carbon and another one adjacent atom is moving away from the carbon atom so this is the final result of this movement okay after reach the very close position and very long position it is moving in opposite direction this is a vibration so it is moving in the left hand side and also right hand side so it is moving in the right hand side means this adjacent is also moving in the right hand side so we get the result this adjacent atom moving in the away from the carbon atom okay away from the carbon atom this adjacent atom is approach to the carbon atom so we get at here two different uh, position in the stretching mode so asymmetric stretching asymmetric stretching mode both adjacent atom is moving in the same direction due to this result we get at here any one of the adjacent atom is approach very close position to the carbon atom one of the adjacent atom is approach long distance from the carbon atom 
the wave number absorbed for the asymmetric mode this is written here wave number for asymmetric mode is absorbed around 2562 cm this is the nearest value for the wave number 2562 so its corresponding energy value so energy value for the asymmetric symmetric stretching mode is equal to 0.31 electron volt okay this is the higher energy compared to the symmetric stretching mode in the case of the symmetric stretching mode we get at here the result 0.18 but here we get 0.31 electron volt so asymmetric stretching mode has more energy compared to the symmetric stretching okay last one we will discuss at now the bending mode or bending vibration in the case of the bending vibration it is a totally different one the symmetry and the asymmetry both vibrations the vibration or molecular movement along the axis of the molecule but in the case of the bending mode bending mode or bending vibration the vibration is or movement of the molecule is perpendicular to the axis of the molecule this is the axis of the molecule so here one carbon atom is downward direction means both axis and atom is moving in the upward side okay the carbon atom is moving the downward means both axis and atom is moving upward side we get the result this is the axis of the molecule carbon atom is moving downward side axis and atom is moving upward side we get at now this kind of vibrations are present okay or otherwise this atom is moving downward side okay this carbon atom is moving the upward side see this is the downward side this is the upward side is movement this axis and atom is moving downward side this is the axis of the molecule so we get the result this is the axis of the molecule this one is the carbon molecule this two are the addition molecule so addition molecule is come down to the axis of molecule and the carbon atom is moving upward side this kind of vibrations are present in the carbon dioxide gas molecule but we get the bending mode is absorbed in the wave number the wave number of the wave number of the bending mode this is rated here bending mode is absorbed at 526 cm per minus 1 okay this is the absorbed wavelength for the carbon dioxide bending mode so corresponding energy value for the bending mode this is rated here e equal to 0.065 electron volt so this energy value is a very very less energy compared to the symmetric and the asymmetric mode okay so we draw the energy diagram graph for the carbon dioxide gas molecule for symmetry mode asymmetry mode and bending mode okay first of all we draw the diagram energy diagram for the carbon dioxide gas molecules <coughs> so based on the wave number we draw the energy double energy gram energy diagram for the carbon dioxide molecule this is the energy value this is the energy value so this is the lowest energy value first we get at now absorbed the bending mode this is rated here bending mode the energy of the bending mode equal to 0.065 electron volt okay 0. 0.65 electron volt this is called bending mode this is the lowest energy in the carbon dioxide vibration okay second one is called asymmetric sorry symmetric vibration mode the symmetric vibration mode has the energy value 0.185 electron volt okay 0.18 around approximately this value is 35 electron volt okay this is rated here symmetry stretching mode symmetry 
touching more. Okay. Next one is called at here symmetric mode. This is rated right here symmetric mode. So last one is called asymmetry. A symmetry stretching mode. Okay. In the asymmetry stretching mode, as the energy value zero point three one five electron volt. Okay. So the carbon dioxide gas molecule has three different kind of vibration. Each vibration has a different energy value. The asymmetric energy value, asymmetric stretching has more energy compared to the bending and the symmetric stretching. And the bending mode has the very low energy compared to the symmetric and the asymmetric bending vibration. So based on the symmetry, asymmetry and the bending vibration mode energy value, we get at now the lesser beam from the carbon dioxide gas more gas. Okay. In this case, the molecule is approached to the asymmetric mode to the symmetric mode, or it is transferred from the asymmetric mode to symmetric mode means it emits the light photons. Or asymmetric mode molecule is jumping to the bending mode. Bending mode means the asymmetric mode convert into bending mode means it emits the excess energy in the form of the light photon. So we get at now two different kind of gas laser from the carbon dioxide gas molecule. Okay, so in this video we will discuss what are the different kind of the vibrations present in the carbon dioxide gas molecule. We get at now three different kind of vibration. First one is called stretching mode, stretch, symmetric stretching mode. Then asymmetric stretching mode. Last one is discuss the bending mode. So we get the different energy value for the each energy. Vibra energy mode or vibration mode. The asymmetric vibration mode has the more energy. This value is around 0.315 electron volt. And next one is the symmetric stretching mode. Its energy value is around 0.1835 electron volt. And last one is the bending mode. It has 0.05065 electron volt. Okay. These are the different energy value present in the carbon dioxide gas molecule. We will see the complete detail about the carbon dioxide gas laser in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching this video.